else we can use with our attached movies. We're simply going to place the images within our stage. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to place this underneath the actions layer and another one as well. Select the image, hit Control X to cut, go to layer 4, Control V to paste, and we're going to call this image underscore 1. Go to layer 3 and simply place it inside of the stage. Double click, image underscore 2. With this now selected, we're going to open up the align. We're going to make sure that this will align to the stage, center, and horizontally, vertically. Do the same thing for image 1. Select it and align it. Once it's aligned correctly, we'll be able to create now our mask. I'm going to create this mask from the Polystar tool and we're going to look at the Polystar, look at its options, make sure it's a star, number of sides will be 5, click OK. We'll also go ahead and simply make this red and we're going to click and drag our Polystar make sure we're on the appropriate layer so I selected the actions layer and we're just going to click and drag this star out we'll now be able to select the star we go to modify convert to symbol and we want this to be a movie clip we're going to call this mask and we're going to click OK I'll be able to delete it and we're going to go ahead and select the action frame and twirl up the actions panel. What we like to input now is some code regarding that of our mask. So let's take a look at this. So first off we understand that we would like to use linkage for the library. So we're going to select mask, right click linkage, export for action script and we're going to click OK. We'll now twirl up the actions panel and we'll begin to write in our code. So this once again will be an attached movie and the ID name could be mask in quotes separated by a comma and the movie clip underscore mask will be the new name and this is going to get the highest depth. With that, we'll now go ahead and proceed to type in our mask information. What we want is to have our instance of image 1 we're going to select the image. We're going to make sure that this has an instance name. So let's just go ahead and select the image. And we'll give this an instance name. We're going to call this MC underscore 1. Notice we did this to the image on top. We'll now twirl up in the actions make sure we select the frame and we'll now proceed to write mc underscore one make sure that that's what it is mc underscore one we'll have some dot syntax of set mask and the set mask will be the mc underscore mask and the MC underscore mask will have a start drag and this will equal true 
take a look at this now and control test movie. Notice I'm now able to move around my cursor and the polystar will show the image underneath. This is some of the power of action scripting and how we can utilize it.